one of my students has recently cracked generative AI based roles in top tech multinational company. And if you are one of the aspirant who want to land in your dream job for generative AI roles in some big companies, then this video is for you. Here I will tell you his experience. What are the different kinds of questions he has been asked in different rounds of the interview that I am going to show you in details. Before starting, let me give a short introduction about myself. Welcome to AD Academy. The main motto of this channel is AI for Am Janta. My name is Dr. Ayan Devnath. I am an IIT Delhi alumni and Fulbright Research Scholar at Harvard University. I have total 9 plus years of experience in the field of Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning, Machine Learning, NLP, Generative AI. Let's watch this video. Welcome to my Metaverse. So my student has applied to that job and he has been called. So first of all, he had a phone screening round where the recruiter is just checking that what their job role is and is his skill is aligning with that or not. So just a basic conversation happened and then he has been asked for the interview. So there were four rounds of interview. First three rounds was based on tech. So some questions has been asked on coding, machine learning, deep learning, NLP, large language model like that way. And in the last round, he faced HR round. So I am going to tell you and break down the things for each and every round, what question has been asked to him. The first round is about one hour and here first of all he has faced a coding round. So he has been asked to open any IDE. It might be Jupyter or PyCharm or Spider or Visual Code anything in his laptop and to share his screen. It was online interview first round and he has been asked to do a coding where he has been asked basic questions on Python like um, create a Fibonacci series. Okay, and then he has been asked few questions on pandas and on numpy. And then he has been asked some questions on statistics. So in statistics, he has been asked like to give an real world application of chi square test. Okay, see here, he has not been asked like what is chi square test. He has been asked the real world application of chi square test. So it is like that you not only know the theory, but you also have to know what are the different kinds of applications are there. And then in the same round, he has been asked a question on machine learning. In machine learning, they, the panelist asked him, so what is bagging technique? and what is boosting technique and then what is the difference between this technique and to give real world example or application where these two techniques are used okay and also the advantage and disadvantage of each of the technique okay now this is for one hour then once he cleared this in the same day there is one more round which is round two and this is also of one hour so here he has been asked some questions on nlp and on transformers So in NLP, he has been asked like, what is word embedding and what is sentence embedding? And what is the difference between this kind of embedding techniques? Okay. And then he has been asked like, what are the pros and cons of these two techniques, word embedding and sentence embedding. Then the interviewer asked him some questions on transformers. On transformers, he has been asked what is self-attention mechanism, what is multi-head self-attention mechanism and to 
explain what is this process in details okay and this took around one hour okay now let me tell you i have created lots of video on nlp and also on transformers you can find these videos in my genetic ai playlist i have created long videos and in details i have mentioned what is self animation what is multi and all these things so you can go and watch in my channel okay now in another day there is one more round which is on uh, for the round 3 this is also one hour and this is an on site round where he has been asked to come to the uh, place of interview in their office and uh, to give that interview okay so here he has been asked like describe what is lang chain and then what is the difference between lang chain and lama index difference between lang chain and lama index he has been asked some advanced questions because he was able to give clear answers on difference between lang chain and lama index so the interviewer was thinking that yes he is a right candidate so let's assess him more on some advanced techniques so he has been asked some questions on intuitions of rag and to give some real world applications of rag okay then he has been asked like suppose like uh, you have given a project say for example you have to create a chatbot with the help of hugging face and or langchain so by using this framework langchain or by using hugging face how he can create a chatbot so this kind of questions are very common in interview where they want to assess you based on what you have previously done some real world applications or some projects which you have already implemented it might not be like to create a chatbot but rather some other applications okay maybe on text summarization text generation text applications uh, text classifications like that way okay so he as soon as he clears these three rounds these three take rounds then he has been called for another day for round 4 and this is for around half an hour not much around half an hour where he has been asked some questions based on hr okay so two uh, person were there one is hr and another is the hiring manager okay so he has been asked some questions on behavioral questions so like behavioral questions like uh, he has been asked say for example if you have a clash between you and one of the colleague on one project then how will you so resolve this matter so this kind of questions are very common these are behavioral types questions so he has been asked this kind of questions okay and finally he has been asked like um, how much he is acquainted with uh, this generative ai whether he has done some project in his previous company and uh, what are those kind of things so that is simple project explanations kind of things and then since his interview was good so they were ready to give him a offer okay so like this way generally in any kind of data science or generative ai based data science roles there you will face two three rounds of interview where it can include coding round or it may not include coding round but there will be definitely questions on statistics machine learning deep learning nlp uh, transformers and then hugging face lang chain so you have to prepare on these kinds of topics and he mentioned that his experience was good because the interviewer was friendly if uh, he was not able to say something then they were uh, asking him some cross questions so that they can gauge what is his approach okay so if you have a clear understanding of the topics then the interviewer will also help you so you have to give effort so that whatever you know you have confidence on that and you can uh, clearly tell them then only the interview will obviously help you and they will definitely give you a job offer okay i hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos 
I will be creating more videos on some interview experience on generative AI, what are the different kinds of questions comes in generative AI and for each of the questions and how you should answer. Okay, so stay tuned and see you soon in my next video.